The high school football season is nearly here, which makes it fitting for this week's competitive drive to be about the winner of the last four Class 3A state championships, the Andale Indians. They have the longest active win streak in the country currently at 51 games, but none of those wins will matter when the team takes the field September 1st. I think just the same mindset, go dominate every play. Just trying to keep that tradition, go on win state every year, and that's what we're going to do. What's been so neat is that when you step back from all of it, you realize how hard it is to do. I mean, so many things have to come together um, to, make, to make it happen the way it was, and we just hope we can continue to keep it going as long as we can, and we're going to try our butt off and, and do the best we can. Head coach Dylan Schmidt and the rest of the Andale team are now focused on this upcoming season, but that won't keep us from breaking down just how dominant the team was last season. In five playoff games, Andale shut out four opponents, including Holton in the state championship game. In total, Andale might have had the most dominant playoff run in recent history, outscoring opponents 252 to six. The entire season was special. In their first six games of the year, the Indians scored at least 49 points every game, and their peak was a staggering 108 points against Nickerson. But again, that is in the past. The focus is now on being even better in 2023, and the only way to do that, continue to put the work in. It's tough to be at the top. It's tough to be successful. It takes a lot of hard work day in and day out, and you know everybody wants the easy button nowadays, and it just doesn't exist. And you know, in the world of sport and, and surely not at our place. And um, we're lucky in the sense, though, that, that mom and dad expect the same thing from them and um, community expects that. And so they kind of have bought into that. Uh, I think it's super exciting. Uh, you know, guys are super excited to be out here. Uh, everybody wants to get to work. So we have a great season this year. We got to step up this year. The team knows they are the hunted, but they take pride in being the one to set the standard. That's the challenge, right? When people are constantly telling you how good you are, is how do I continue to get better? And so it's the day-to-day -day stuff that, that matters most, just the process that you go through and, and how you attack the process. So um, that, that's kind of the constant message around here. You said something interesting about everybody these days wants the easy button, mm -hmm. and the easy button doesn't exist certainly around there. That was interesting. Yeah. And that's something I've noticed like just over the years like covering high school football. It's the team that just put in the work. Like you saw them practice yeah. at like 7 in the morning. Like every day those guys get after it. You can see why they're so successful every Friday night. Mm -hmm. I hate to be the one to say it, but what I love about sports too is sometimes you show up and you put in the hard work and you put in the grit and you put in those long hours and it still doesn't you don't walk out with a W. And those two are those character that's, building that's moments story, we get in sports. That's the story of my life right there. <laughs> wow. It's my biography no. all wrapped up in like no. one little sentence there. You put in no. the work and you still don't get the W. No way. That's all right. You though. know what? You got the W and you got to be here with me and Zach. I've spent years, <laughs> I've just spent years looking for the easy button and I can't seem to find it. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll help you guys find it. We'll okay. be back. <laughs>